Kayla, please like and subscribe. It's time for Caleb's choice. His choice. His rules. All right. Question number one. In an all animal, laying an animal battle royal, who's your winner? What animal are you picking? A T Rex. I was going to say, does it have to be? I guess it has to be real. <laughs> Wait, it is. It's in the Congo somewhere. A raptor. A raptor can beat. Those little guys can beat. Matt. Matthew. Blue. We love you. Matt. <laughs> We're going to have to ban him from doing that. Right. <laughs> We're going to have to give him his own segment. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, do we, does it need to be alive? Like, Let's really? say yeah. it's not, a, it's not extinct. Say, yeah, okay. something's still on the earth. <laughs> I was saying it T-Rex, Holly, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, Jurassic I was, Park is like, I love that movie. Who, so, who do you have winning, Caleb? Yeah. I'm, I'll say giraffe. I know it won't win, but that's my favorite animal is a giraffe. You're killing they, your giraffe. Your giraffe is they, gone. They can kick it out off a lion. Yeah, they can yeah, kick like a impressive. mother. You know honey, what? Honey There's badger. some videos out there. <laughs> Matt, honey badger. It doesn't honey give a badger. shit. Yeah, it doesn't give a shit. Oh, yeah, my but that's God. gonna be its downfall. It's gonna pick a fight with something it can't beat. Yeah, but when he when a snake bites him, he takes a nap and wakes back up. I'm gonna, what if an I'm elephant steps on him? He ain't waking back up from that. <laughs> a koala. Uh, there you go, a koala. Oh, I think I'm going hippo. Correct. Dude, hmm. they are fast. That's they what can I was swim. gonna say. They are. They can crush things with their mouth. Dude. I, yes. I think I'm going hippo. I think I'm gonna go with a cheetah, a cheetah or like a leopard. Leopard. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. I Cheetah's stole fast. mine. I Cheetah's stole yours. Fast. Hippos. They're mean. No, they're mean yeah. as they're territorial. <laughs> they will They'll kill spray you. poo all over you with their little tail that goes. <laughs> they're not. Yeah, they may, some people think they're cute, but they're they're oh like one gosh. of the number one killers, I think. Yeah, have you seen people. them chase boats? Yeah. 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 They're they're that boat. The water. Wow. Have you guys seen them as little babies though? Oh yeah. They grow up to be monsters. No, not, mine. Yeah. not my hippo. My hippo would be nice. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You might be the one person I know that would invite your hippo inside, but oh not my me. gosh, I would. Oh, I like them. Pluto's answer. Humans for the W. Yeah. Uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna Only have to if say they get a, a, moose. a gun. A moose. Yeah. They're mean. Yeah. They are big. They're mean too. People don't understand how big they are until they come across them in real life. Those I've things are one in person. Big. Oh yeah. I've it was seen. bigger than I would have ever guessed. I yeah. know. I still think I'm going with a leopard for me. Leopard. Mm -hmm. How do we decide who wins, Caleb? Yeah, now do we all have to get one and then put them yeah, in a cage? Yeah, we have to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> so Mortal Meg, just asked, yeah, Meg just asked, "Did you see the baby hippo bath I sent you, Holly?" And yes, that's what made me realize I really want a hippo in my life as a baby. Isn't there a Christmas song about that? Oh my! I want, want a hippo for Christmas. 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 Or yeah. It's my goal to make one of you sing every podcast. <laughs> Check <laughs> off this week. Will do. Okay, Greg, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. Shut up. I love you, Greg. <laughs> I'm with uh, I love you too. Oh, heck yes. All right. My second one's easy. Hmm. Are you a morning shower person or an evening shower person? Take one of the night or in the morning. Evening. This does everyone here shower daily? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Just making sure. Because we most figured days. out lazy people don't necessarily shower every day. Yes, we did find that out though. Um evening. Shit. I think Are I, both. Did, do I both? Nope. both because I like to wake up in the morning and that's what helps that's me fun. get up and going is the shower. Yeah. But then I like here. I'm really weird about going to bed with like dirty feet or something. Nah, and that's so, where I'm at. 
I, I got to go to bed clean. Yeah. Like we're the type of people that literally washes our sheets probably two or three times a week. Not even kidding. Just because we have, wow. well, we have cats that sleep with us that like to go roll around in the dirt and then they come in and decide, Oh, let me get in these covers. Let me clean the dirt <laughs> off of me with all these sheets. Yeah. So we no, but can you just tell when your sheets are dirty, right? There's just times where like, maybe it's once a week, but then there's another times where it's like, just time to get new sheets and there's nothing better in the world than laying down. Oh, on new clean that sheets. is magical. Oh, yeah. It really is magical to get into bed with clean sheets. It really, really is. And then the smell. Oh, and now about I'm, when you're, you're hubby, oh, you have wash your sheets. Can you guys tell I'm ready to go back to bed? There's a nap in my future, I promise yeah. you. Yeah, mine too. Nap Holly's. I don't nap, you guys. That's what really is like. That's probably why you get sick more than me. You need naps in your life, Holly. <laughs> probably. I, I'm a night, night shower for sure. I can't go to bed dirty. That's just no. Yep. And sometimes both. It depends. But have your yeah. hubby wash your feet. Uh, I don't think he. That's in the cards, Meg. Like he's not a. Go I don't. Like he, he would if I like had some injury, or else he'd be like, "Go wash your feet yourself." Like, what do you? What do you mean? You know, <laughs> so yeah, this job doesn't pay enough for me to wash your feet. Yeah, <laughs> this job. All right, Everybody mine, get a chance to answer. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Last one. It's Olympic Olympic season. <laughs> is it? Uh, the US, it is. All right. <laughs> the U.S. has never medaled in five Olympic event, summer Olympic events. Can you guess what five they are? And it has actually changed now to four. But which sucks because that was the only one I would have guessed right. Yeah. Oh, gymnastics. No, the men's gymnastics, isn't it? Or is well, that? Well, this is just yes. Yeah. Damn. Oh, is this a men or women's answer or just it's in just general? The US. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Ball ball Volleyball? Thing. Fencing. What's that? Fencing? No. Nope. Oh, that's a good guess though. That is. Volleyball? No. No, I know they have cuz Chase Buttinger yeah. last 4 years ago. Mm. Um, Hopefully the one that they just got a medal in this year was table tennis. They had never in metal this first time. Yeah. Really? So yeah. Oh, I just watched table tennis for the first time ever in like Olympics, or I don't know if I've ever actually just sat and watched table tennis. However, why are the tables this big? And why does it look like when they're going to like serve, they're hitting it off their chest or off their face. Are they yeah. actually doing that or are they hitting it off the paddle? I could not tell. They're freaky quick. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't watched it's any the of it. This thing, it's weird. Are the tables smaller? Yes, they're like this big. It looks like it. I don't know if they are not. But no, they they are, I'm 100% yeah. sure that they are smaller by a lot. Matt got one of them. Oh, uh, disc golf? Badminton. Badminton. That's a oh. thing. Yeah. Really? What about disc? I want to go with break dancing. No. Break dancing. Close. Break dancing is an actual yeah. competition. Are you serious? Swear to you. Yeah. I think it's so many year, weird ones. First year that they did that, but yeah, break dancing. So badminton was one of them? Bad, badminton was one of them. Badminton. That's a weird Olympic sport. And Matt might be Ooh. right on this next one, too. What about shooting? No. The ribbon one? Oh, well, it's rhythmic, rhythmic gymnastics. Is that the right oh. one? Yeah. 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 Synchronized wow. swimming? There's what kind of gymnastics? Rhythmic. Synchronized. They dance and with the ball and the ribbon. And... Yeah, I don't even know. I feel like you guys are making stuff up just to make me feel Oh, we got two more. I, I read that too, Meg. So they're going to do esports in 2025 yeah. or 2028. They're going to introduce esport games into wow. the Olympics. Yeah. Sweet. Crazy. Hmm. So we got two more. One has the ball and one doesn't. Tennis. No. Mm -hmm. Serena. Soccer. Serena. Oh, yeah. There's no, like I guess we've won medals in soccer before. Yeah, we yeah. have soccer. We have. Is it some stupid kind of ball? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Stupid kind of ball. <laughs> Pickleball. Like cricket or something? Yeah, they use your hand. 
Handball? Yeah, Rugby. handball. Oh. I don't know what handball is. I don't either. What's the other one without the ball? Um, yeah. There's a lot of springs. Springs? Like Trampoline. diving. What? Trampoline. Trampoline, yep. No. Oh, wait. wait. Trampoline is an no, Olympic I sport? Not, I didn't yeah. know that either. <laughs> yeah. What the? I'm not, I'm not big on the Olympics. So yeah, go to Peacock. No. You can watch them all. I... I... <laughs> I'm all about the Olympics, you guys. I know it's not people are open on well, I'm not watching the Olympics. However, <laughs> I am watching the Olympics and I'm watching it every single day during prime time because it's about the freaking athletes. They're the best in the world. Okay. At the trampoline. I can't do anything. I guess well, not, but I just like there's some play? things that I just don't care about, which is I know the Olympics aren't just catered to Josh. I get that. But that's just super weird to me that, like, with some of these sports, I didn't even know were sports. Like, that's yeah. just odd. I don't know. But, you know, oh, even like that. That's what it is. Well, even the ones that are, like, popular, like, what's it called when you jump up on the bar and then you spin around and jump to another bar and spin around and do flippity flip stuff? Pole dancing. Pole dancing. Yeah, then even bars. Who was the first person that walked up to two bars and went, I'm going to do flippity flips on these things. And I'm like, how this Ollie, even become a sport? Probably me. Ollie, yeah. something I would do. I was doing that when I was little. I was just flip. Those sort of things are just a little bit weird Ready. to me. Like, And I understand basketball, baseball, that's the same way. Like, who decided we were going to hit this ball? And if it went over this fence, it counted as a point and throw a round bouncy ball into some peach basket or whatever and turns into. But some of these sports, I'm thinking. How this even become a, a thing? I don't know. I'm old. Spinny Flippy Freddy. That. That's that's what I was thinking, Matt. I was Thank thinking you, that too. Aussie man. I was thinking All right, that Holly's thing. question. Spreddy, spreddy oh, mine is easy because I feel like I already know your your answers. Are you a better talker or are you a better listener? You want to give us our answers? Yeah, you tell us. Caleb is 100% listener. One hundred percent, without a doubt. Yeah. Greg, I would say I'm seventy five percent sure he's a listener. Josh is a talker, and I am a talker. There you go. There we go. We got I would we work well together. I would agree. That's probably true. You know, yeah. with me though, I think it just depends on who it is. I will. I, I'm just, there's some people where I just will listen to you because I don't have advice to give you or anything. And so I'll just be your listener if you need to. But then on some people, I could talk your damn ear off. So. I think for me, Holly, <laughs> and this goes a little bit even towards Caleb, it depends on how comfortable I am with you. Mm -hmm. If I don't yeah. know you, I'm way more of a listener. Like I'm yeah. the guy that will kind of hang back and just pay attention to what's going on in the room for like the first hour before I actually kind of open up to people. Yeah. So it had for me, it has a lot to do with who we're interacting with. And that's kind of where I'll be yeah. honest with you. I'll throw this out there to you. You guys may not even know this. When we first went live, it made this way harder for me because before I was just talking to you guys, right? right? I know other people are watching it, but I was just talking to you guys. And so I have to, from time to time, not even look at the comments because then it makes me kick into the listener mode and we can't just sit here with silence for an hour. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. So well, we should try that on a meditation. The next time. I'm, I'm telling you, there are a lot of YouTube videos out there where it's a red screen for an hour, a blue screen for an hour, and they're like eight hours long and they have millions of views. Stop it. Yeah. Dead serious. Uh, no, you're right. Uh, the weirdest thing. Or it'll just be a static for mm. like 12 hours. Like 30 million views. Are people sleep yeah. through it? Like doing something noise? wrong. White noise. Some of them don't yeah. even have sound. Some of them oh. are just to make the light in the room different, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. You turn your it's like a nightlight. Your TV acts as a nightlight. You know. Hmm. The, yeah, a place for eight hours while you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> The one good thing I can say, well, I mean, we have several good things about our podcast, but one thing for me personally, um, so my job requires a whole lot of speaking and presentations and being on Zoom and all that stuff and being in front of people. The one thing that the podcast has helped me with is that. 
Like I'm so much more comfortable, you know, presenting a meeting and talking to people over Zoom and stuff than I've ever been. And I mean, it's even been noticeable by my peers. They're like, you just go with it. You just know what you're doing. And I'm like, you got to practice. Way, but you know, be kind. Podcast. And then when I was doing spaces all the time back in the day, it, it really was like, okay, I could do this. And, but the podcast, because we're on live on a screen, it's almost feels like we're on a zoom. And so yeah, that's yeah. kind of how it feels at work. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I can still remember. Cause I went back and edited that video last week, seeing your very first podcast. I would say, and you correct me if I'm wrong, it took you five to six to get comfortable. Oh yeah. To where you were like, you didn't notice you were talking to the camera anymore. It was just conversation and this yeah. and that. And it's, it is different. It is something different for sure. But I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe.